Hi, Joanne. Hi, Shira. <laughs> We're here at the Jeek 2023 in Kenya, and everybody wants to know what were your highlights and favorite parts of the week? I'd say the biggest highlight was the act of actually just arriving here to this incredible land with the incredible people. And Ashira, you know this, and several people may know that we brought a conscious breathing in the classroom training yeah. to three different classrooms. And actually Ashira herself taught a classroom of kids. I was teaching the teachers, and this may make me cry because these teachers were so open, almost like children. Like, and not to say that they're children, but just the openness of receiving this and having gone in beforehand and talked to Reverend John, who is the director of one of the schools, to find out what the, the teachers, parents, and kids' lives are like, that they would come to school without food in their belly. They would not get their rent paid as teachers because they didn't have enough money to pay the teachers. And so I adapted the way that we, I taught it to speak to nourishment, to speak to self-regulation, and they got it. They got it. And then we mixed up with some dance and we mixed up with crazy, you know, Tarzan breath and the, and the bicycle, yeah, bicycle pump. pump. And we, 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 it was fun, but it was deep and it was so accessible. And then we did the same thing. We did interviews with the teachers afterwards. Yeah. And the teachers, I mean, so many of them and the directors said, you have changed our lives. And they didn't know that conscious breathing could be such an incredible resource in their lives. And, and so, in fact, then, with um, all of the schools I've been in contact with, they started the next day. <laughs> their directors were there and their teachers were there. And so the school of ILA Academy, all of them, they started the school day with breathing. And then John, Reverend John, told me about it. And I said, oh, that sounds amazing. He said, we'll do it again at lunchtime. <laughs> and then several people have gone back and forth. And why don't you tell me about what you did in the class? Because that, that was a highlight, too. All right. So I have to say that absolutely one of my favorite things in this 10 days here in Kenya was supporting Joanne with her breathing in the classroom uh, what's the word program program yeah. and it just sort of very organically happened and I was able to go in and teach some of her techniques to 53 kids from the Kenyan slums who were attending school and you would not believe how focused they were I mean they were paying attention they were doing it they were into it and it really touched my heart and they were so loving you know, all of the kids, they just, the, the, the eye contact and the smiles and the joy, despite all of the hardships, moved me to my depth. And to observe the teachers and how they, how they took to you and your words and, and the breathing. And they really wanted to spread this information. And it was just such an honor to be there and to have this experience and to really experience the love of the Kenyan people. While, while being here was my favorite part. Everybody was just so of service and so loving. In fact, we were all saying this beforehand, the jig hasn't even started and, and we're, we're so happy. But I, I wanna say two other things about that is that I've always held the belief that when we bring a jig Global Inspiration Conference to a new country, of course we come together with our family, we breathe, we connect. And I've always believed that a role of the GIC is to help change the country that we come to. Yeah. And we really did that in spades. And so actually over these last few days, we've seen two directors of two schools who've joined us here. We have had a teacher from the ELA Academy here for two days, and we just made it work with a place to sleep and, and so on. And I wanna throw in one other really cool thing that happened last night. There's an organization of a youth hub who are followers of Wangari Matu. I don't know if I say it right. She was the Nobel Prize honored woman here from Kenya who started planting trees. 
and through planting trees in the millions, she started to teach about wow. biodiversity and how we're all connected. And they have a, well, an international organization, but all these youth is here from Africa. So I met Gaba from Mali on the steps last night and we started talking and the next thing you know I gave him a manual for conscious breathing in the classroom to say hey you're planting trees in all these countries in Africa how about when we why don't we plant the seed that when you're planting trees you take a deep breath from the trees that are here you give back a breath to the trees that you're planting and that there's a deeper connection of interconnection and that everybody is nourished by realizing that that we are all in one reciprocal dynamic relationship. Yay! I love it. <laughs> Joanne, thank you so much. Thanks thank for all you, you do. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Thanks, thank guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>